Hello and welcome to Strange Oddities little tutorial on automating flax beards crucible for brass production. If you've played with flax beards wondrous steam mod you'll know that one thing that's a pain is creating the plates that you need. So here we've got a crucible it's sat on a steam heater you can use those instead of fire. We'll close the mould and we will do the usual one, two, three copper, one zinc, producing brass. And now we sit here clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. And if we're unfortunate enough to not be standing close enough, we'll even find that sometimes Yep, that plate ends up all over the place. Let me just quickly switch it to daytime. Not great. However, little known fact in 0.28, which is also the version that's in Horizons Daybreaker, the mod added some redstone and hopper compatibility. This means that you can melt your brass switch on your crucible. As long as there's a redstone signal the crucible will keep rocking away. And the plates get automatically sucked out of the mould. How good is that? But wait, it gets better. Turns out the crucible responds or provides a signal to comparators. So with this little setup, what will happen is it'll keep rocking away until the comparator detects that the crystal is empty and then it will stop. Now you might wonder why that's important. By the way, you get six plates per four ingots that you put in. We'll just wait for this to finish, prove it works. Four, five, and this should be the last little rock. There we go, the signal's gone off, the crucible stops. Obviously that's not enough for those of us used to a bit of automation. So this monster does some more. I've got four droppers set up. Three of them contain copper and one of them contains zinc. If I press this button it triggers all the droppers and that will drop the three copper and one zinc into the crucible which will then emit a signal that will mean it starts rocking away and pouring. <coughs> However, that's not enough. check it's pouring brass. Oh, I left this lever on, pardon me. That's not what I did. What did I do wrong? Something. I'll check that. Anyway, it's now pouring away. <coughs> pouring glass plates. What I've added on the back is some blue power. What this does is there's a repeater set to 32 ticks. When the uh, crucible becomes empty, a delayed tick goes through a knock gate and becomes inverted, delayed signal, into a pulse former that makes a pulse along the top and fires the droppers. The delay is necessary because we need to wait for the crucible to stop rocking before we refill it. And here we go, it should stop, refill, it's got brass in again, and off it goes. So that is a proof of concept could do with tidying up way to have your system sat there automatically making brass and lots of it. <coughs> hope you enjoyed that. Hope it makes sense. I'm sure it can be approved upon. Uh, please drop a like if you liked it. Maybe subscribe. I've got a let's play that's working through Horizons Daybreaker and uh, is going to make use of this. Thanks a lot. Bye.